we're going to talk about JavaScript. Now, you've probably heard about it. You've probably heard about all that scary coding stuff. But JavaScript is not so bad. In fact, JavaScript is a programming language uh, that was created in 10 days by Brendan Eich. Okay, 10 days uh, by uh, uh, Netscape. He did it for Netscape. And it's one of the simplest languages to learn. Now, with that being said, JavaScript can also be a very nasty language. Uh, in that uh, it was built in such a short period of time and doesn't have a bunch of rules. And uh, so you can do some nasty things with it. But as far as we're concerned, and uh, here in our course, uh, we're going to be using the best parts of it. And it's going to help us bring our websites to life. And JavaScript basically powers every website on the internet, more or less. There maybe is a few that don't use it, but uh, pretty much every website you went on today, Okay, had JavaScript behind the scenes in some way or form. And even languages out there that you'll see uh, or frameworks such as Angular 2 or React, they all use JavaScript in some type of form. None of those things would work without it. It's an interpreted language, language which means uh, it uh, is more or less compiled on the fly. It's interpreted, not compiled, but more or less that's what's happening. So your browser will read the code. Okay, and then uh, figure out what to do with it. And so that's what the browsers do. The Firefox, the Chrome, it'll take the code, it'll interpret it, and it'll do actions uh, based upon uh, whatever you write in your code. Uh, and more recently, uh, you can now run JavaScript on uh, servers or on your Mac or, or Windows uh, using Node. Uh, so basically, Node is an engine. Uh, it's actually from the Chrome V8 engine that allows you to run JavaScript locally on a computer without needing a web browser. So that's a lot of information. Let's go ahead and actually write our very first program. So I'm going to open up brackets. Go to File, File, New. OK. I'm going to save this Command S or Control S. And I'm going to save it here. Uh, first website. No, that's not where I'm saving it. I'm going to save it in Hello JavaScript. And we're going to call this index.html. So we're actually going to write some inline JavaScript, JavaScript that's actually inside of our HTML code crazy, right? Uh, there's other ways of doing it, but this is how we're going to do it for now. Okay, so we're going to say doc type, of course, HTML, and then the HTML tag. And let's go ahead and put a head and a body and uh, press enter. And inside the body, we are actually going to use something new. It's called the script tag. Okay, script and type is going to be equal to text slash JavaScript. Okay, we're just specifying what type of script it is. And uh, being that it's in the body, when your website loads, it's actually gonna load this script. And so whatever we put in here is gonna be JavaScript, okay? You, if you write HTML between these tags here, your program will crash. You can't do that, okay? This is all JavaScript now. Whatever's in these script tags is JavaScript. And this is one of many ways of running JavaScript, okay? We're just barely diving in here. So here's our JavaScript here, and JavaScript again, is a scripting language that allows you to do multiple things. And so we're going to do some things here, have some fun with it, and I'll explain as I go along, and then we'll take the deep dive in the subsequent lessons. So what we're going to do is say var name is equal to Jack. Okay, and I'm putting a semicolon at the end uh, to specify that it's the end of the line. Var uh, represents variable, and we'll talk about this in a little bit. You can follow along for right now. Uh, and we're going to say var age equals... 23. Okay, so the text here, which is also called a string, is inside of quotes, and then the age is just a number here. All right, so name and age, great. Well, what can we do with this? Well, let's say we want to just pop it up on the screen. Hi, my name is Jack, and I'm 23 years old. How do we do that? So let's make a new variable called message. We're going to say is equal to, all right, hi, my name is... All right, now would I just type in the word Jack here like this? Well, I could, but that's pointless because we already have a variable storing that data. So, hi, my name is name, okay, uh, indicating this name of the variable here. Hi, my name is name, a space, and I am space. And we're going to say plus, I'm going to say age, and plus years old. A little bit crazy, right? You know, if you've never coded before, this is probably all, all new to you. Um, but basically, hi, my name is, we're, we're creating what's called a literal string here. We'll talk more about that later. 
we're adding it or we're concatenating, that's the phrase, the key term there, uh, a variable, which is also a string, and it says, and I am, and then we're doing another variable here, age, which is this number, okay, this is an integer, and it's converting it into a string, into our message over here, and then another string we're adding to the end. And so, I can do this really cool command here called alert, which will pop up an alert on our website, and I can just put the message right there, okay? And again, if you're completely confused by what's going on, that is okay, because I haven't explained anything yet. So what we're gonna do here is we're gonna click this little lightning bolt to run our web page. Hi, my name is Jack, and I am 23 years old. So. If you followed along and if this successfully worked, congratulations, you have just written your very first script, uh, at least in this uh, course here. <laughs> and uh, that's pretty cool. You've actually written a line of code which told the browser to do something. The browser has a function called alert and you pass data into it and you've, uh, you've performed an operation. So congratulations on that. Okay, let's talk about what we've done here. And again, we're gonna go more in depth here, but basically everything inside of this script tag is called JavaScript. We didn't write any HTML here. Okay, because it's in the body, it's loading this when the web page loads. What we've done here is we've created a variable. A variable uh, can store information, okay? And we've created a second variable. This one's a number though. And then all we did is we stored all that information in a third variable, okay? We took this plus this plus this. We turned this number into a string just like these ones. And then we pass it into a function that the browser gives us called alert. The, the browser created this for us. Uh, every browser handles this differently. Uh, of course, we're using Chrome, so Chrome knew what to do with this, and we passed the message in that we wanted to uh, spit out here, which is really, really cool. One more thing I want to show you here. I'm going to comment out the alert here. Okay, Those double slashes mean a comment, and a comment means that your code will not uh, run. Okay, it will be hidden to the interpreter, the JavaScript interpreter. Instead, what I want to do is say console.log and pass in the message. Now, every browser also knows what to do with console.log. So what I would like to do is go to this web page here and just refresh it. Command R. Nothing happened, right? But if you do Command Alt J uh, on Mac or Control Alt J on Windows, okay, it's going to pop open the Chrome developer tools. And look right here. You can print straight to the log. Hi, my name is Jack, and I'm 23 years old. Now, that's a lot better for debugging and printing things out to see if your code worked than putting up a bunch of alerts everywhere. That'll get annoying and problematic really fast. And so what we've done here, again, is we've called another function, not alert this time, but console.log. Every browser knows how to handle this. We pass the message in. And using the Chrome developer tools, which can be accessed via Command-Alt-J or Control-Alt-J, uh, you can... Um, see your printouts right here by using console.log. It even tells you what line of code it was written on, line 14 and line 14, which is really cool. So congratulations, you've just done your very first coding uh, in JavaScript, and we've even mixed a little bit, uh, in, mixed that inside of our HTML, uh, which you'll be using uh, as you build your first websites. And, and later on, we'll talk about other things, how to put JavaScript in their own files, and uh, we'll get more in depth on how the programming language actually works. Let's call this video done and move on and forward.